In this demo, we will show how to make a serial device communicate on an industrial network. To do this, we will use the Anybus communicator as a gateway. In my scenario, we have a barcode scanner using RS-232, which I want to access from a Profibus network. I have connected the barcode scanner to the bottom interface of the Anybus communicator and the Profibus cable to the front. To configure the Anibus communicator, I start by connecting the programming cable between the computer's serial port and the PC connector port of the Anibus communicator. I can now start the Anibus configuration manager. I first select my field bus type, which in this case is Profibus. In the communicator tab, I need to specify the protocol mode. Master mode means that the gateway will send a query and receive a response. Generic mode means that the gateway will produce or consume data, while DF1 is a specific master mode for communicating with certain Rockwell PLCs. Since we have a barcode scanner which is sending data which the gateway should consume, we select generic data mode. In the subnetwork tab, I set my serial settings to match the barcode scanner. The bitrate of 9600 and the RS-232 physical standard is correct for my particular barcode scanner. The message delimiter is used to determine how long the gateway should wait before it considers data to be a new message. We set this to be 500 as it's a commonly used value. The next step is to add my barcode scanner to my node list. Since our barcode scanner sends data, I want the gateway to consume this data. So I right-click and select Add Transaction Consume. Since I do not know how often I will receive data from the scanner, I set the offline timeout to zero. If I would have selected a timeout, I could choose if I want to clear or freeze the data from my last consume. OK, back to the consume field. I right-click Consume 1, which I just created, and choose Add Variable Data. This is because I do not know how many bytes of data that's coming in from the barcode scanner. In this example, we only have input data from the barcode scanner, which by default is stored in Data Location 0. I can check this in the Sub-Network Monitor. The In area starts on 0, the Out area starts on hex 200, and the general area on hex 400. I only have input data in this example, so zero is the correct data location for the incoming data from the barcode scanner. We set the maximum data length to 30, which means that the data we receive can be up to 30 bytes long. One byte equals one character. The Anibus Configuration Manager automatically converts the entered value into a hexadecimal format in this case 1e. E. I can also set an end character, meaning that a specific character marks the end of a message, and fill unused bytes if that's needed. OK, that's all I need to configure. Quick and easy, eh? To apply my settings, I select the serial port I want to connect via. I'm using COM port 2. I click Connect and then Download. I can set a password if I wish, but I don't. I can now monitor the node by right-clicking and selecting Node Monitor. So let's scan a barcode. I can see that values show up here in the Node Monitor. I can also log values if I want to. If I stop the logger, scan another time, and stop the logger, I can see that my data shows up here. On the Profibus side, I can see that the data from the barcode scanner now shows up here as well. That's how easy it is to set up a connection between the serial device and Profibus.